Photoshop brushes can be used for many things. Now, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a scratchy, jagged background. I'm using Brush Pack 156 from Graphic Extras. It's a commercial use brush pack and you can find it on the Graphic Extras website. Right, I'm just going to go to the brush tool, just select that, and now in the palette you'll see a selection of brushes. These are the brushes in the uh, brushes pack and I'm just going to select the first one. Now for this tutorial basically you just use the brushes palette and you can find that in the window menu brush there and now there's many settings like shape dynamic scattering etc. Now the one the first one really to set is scattering so I'm just going to set scattering so the, the brushes will be scattered across the entire design increase the size the scattering there or decrease so if I just apply that now you'll see all the uh, brush strokes applied and that's just just a simple move over the uh, design now I've actually set uh, the color over here black and blue now I'm going to go over to the shape dynamics and I'm going to set the size jitter from 0 to 100 so it's 100% so Basically, you've got the size of the brush, which is 359, so you will generate uh, brush strokes between 359 and obviously smaller. So if I apply it now, you can see different smaller brushes there. Undo brush. And also the angle jitter, I'm just going to, so it basically rotates all the brushes. Instead of having it at zero, I'm actually going to jitter it to uh, the full range between zero and 360. Also, I'm going to set the color dynamics and I've just set the foreground background jitter to 100% so basically going to jitter between the black and the blue so all the brush strokes will be sort of black or blue and anything in between now just going to quickly just apply this over this design just just to basically just run it over all the different positions of course you can do it as quickly as you can so you can just really create a and just fill different areas or fill the whole on very quickly so you create very quickly a very jagged scratchy kind of background now you can use this background maybe in distortions displacement maps so you could actually save it to a PSD file or you can maybe say to PNG maybe even use it as a, a source for a brush so you can actually just go now to the say selection here and actually default use the edit menu and define brush preset but probably the best thing is to use it as like a displacement but or just as a general texture of course you can uh, go image adjustment turn it into grayscale or you can even use the threshold maybe just to create a more rough scratchy design there more or less of the design okay